Have you suffered a nasty accident on a foam-based obstacle course? Found yourself with whiplash in a field 7,000 miles from home? Well, you may be entitled to compensation. Our dedicated call centre is waiting 24-7 for you to take advantage of our no-win big fee special offer. Call Hamster, Monkey and Mop Injury Lawyers for you now. Or you could just watch people falling off stuff instead. Let the claims begin. Hello and welcome to Total Wipeout. Now, we have passed the midpoint of this series, so I think it's time to acknowledge all those talented people who make this show possible. For a start, there's the guy who operates the... Uh, that... The, the camera, it's, uh, is it Justin? Laura. Laura. And there's, well, um, yeah, basically that's it. But back to the show, and let's take a look at what tonight's contestants are about to face. I am so excited, and so is Justin. Laura. Laura. The qualifier, where few have ever gone before. Double cross, even fewer have gone here. Terror go round, where, like, one person has gone. And the wipeout zone. No one has ever made it this far. I'd like to correct a tiny factual inaccuracy in the previous segment there. Some people have been to the wipeout zone. That's how every week someone wins £10,000. I wholeheartedly apologise for any confusion caused. It's just sometimes, well, a lot of times on this show, things do go wrong. Which is a little comfort to tonight's first contestant, who's with Amanda. Good luck. Hello. Things have got an awful lot more glamorous here at the top of the qualifier, and that's because I've been joined by the fabulous Howie from Swindon. Or should that be Shawingdon? Hi, Howie. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. How are you? I'm really good. Howie, would you describe yourself? Uh, flamboyant, gregarious, loyal, creative, and a walking piece of art. Now, Howie, let's talk about appropriate clothing. Total wipeout equals sporty and adventurous. Yeah. Does that reflect in what you're wearing here today? I'd say so, wouldn't you? Feathers to fly me around the course. This walking piece of art is about to redecorate this course. Oh my lord. Righto, so this is 39 year old account manager Howie. The walking piece of art is about to come face to face with our latest installation. The doorstep challenge is back. Three doors, two armed hammers. Pick the wrong door, come in. and you get hammered. Like that. And that. And another. Yeah, kind of like that. So, Harry's first to attempt the doorstep challenge. Now he's gone for number two. No! Hammer! No! Mind you, good hammer dodging, look. Still hits the mud, though. The clock is ticking and only the fastest 12 contestants qualify for the next round. But next it is the Sucker Punch. Artist, meet painter, and puncher. Okay, here we go. Yep, there's the paint. And there's the punch. Still, that's no way to treat a priceless piece of art, really, is it? He was a walking piece of art. Now he's a sight for sore eyes. Priceless Howie steaming towards the big balls. Now, he's been preparing for Total Wipeout by joining a street dance group. Here we go. One, two, no! 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 It's not going to get any better. No. Just no, 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 no. So, it's a swim and a climb to the last obstacle. The shapeshifter with a swinging block. How is the first new kid on it? Now, the aim is to jump through one of the cutouts and onto the finished podium. Here we go. Yes, that's probably good. No, that's not. I do not believe how we did that. Oh, Howie. I see, yeah. Thing is, he fell in the water. Priceless Howie reaches the finish in a frankly brilliant two minutes. Oh. Beauty and glamour lost. Oh. Tell you what, you have just been the centre of attention for the last couple of minutes. Really? That was a fantastic run from where I was standing. Uh, good. good to hear it. Did you enjoy it? I did enjoy it, but that is far more exhausting. 
than I thought it would be. Well, you wouldn't be the first to say that, Howie. <laughs> I'm sure. Go get your breath back and we'll see you later. Thank you. Okay. No kiss. Mwah. 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 Next to try her luck, sorry, skill, is 22-year-old Sarah from Devon. She's an insurance advisor. Maybe she'd have advised herself against doing this. Do all your friends and family have a cheeky little bet on you to win here today? I'm reckoning they do. Yeah, I've got a bet. I've got my own bet on with my brother-in-law. He's kind of like, he said to me, if I can make it through the qualifier to the second round, he's going to give me some money. So I was like, oh. How much? £100, I think. Anyway, off she goes. Maybe that hundred pounds will cover her excess. No, no, careful. Okay, gravity doing all the work so far, and doing it well. Right, she's up and heading for the doorstep challenge. Uh, door three, my favourite. Ah! Oh, oh, ah! Yes, that's the wrong door. She actually hung on. That's it, Sarah. No insurance claim on the horizon yet. The sucker punch now. Come on, Sarah. She's on? Oh, no! She was on! She did get on it! Nice bit of stationary front crawl for you swim fans. She's not moving. Not going anywhere at all. Now, Sarah's pace has slowed somewhat here. Oh, no, don't stay too long! Oh, boy! She was demotivated, but she's still on. Come on, Sarah, hold on! Grab hold. Okay. You can get out of this. You can save it. No, not now. Clearly hasn't read the small print. Her policy doesn't cover her for ball burn. Just a shapeshifter to go. Sarah's not going to beat Howie's two minutes. Oh, she's fallen off. Sarah Direct reaches the end in five minutes 48, which by no means ensures her a place in the next round. Not in the history of Wipeout have I ever hugged anyone, but give me a hug! Oh! I've got Sarah's claim form here. Rubber burn, muddy hair, water up the nose. Yep, all seems to be in order. I shall award her the maximum payout of 13 pence, minus postage, so she actually owes me 33 pence. You know what? I'll let her off. So, who's next? This is Mike, and he's the tallest Welshman in the world ever. It says so here, so it's true. Look, he's as tall as pictures of tall stuff. Michael, I've got to say, there is no subtle way of saying this, but you are a big unit. How big are you? Six foot six, 20 stone, <laughs> and half a muscle. <laughs> you see the rest, no what to pass. This is a big man from Markham. I'm not going to use my machinery. I'm going to smash this course to pieces myself. <laughs> I am genuinely concerned that this flimsy qualified course might not be able to take Massive Mike. Time for the tiny doors and normal size hammers. Who's going to win? Door one has got to pull the handle off. I saw him and he barely moves. This guy is incredible. Onto the sucker punch. Oh, ooh, I didn't expect that. Massive Mike on the shapeshifter. Oh, oh, I think he's broken it. No, it's all right, still working. Now, Mike is so big, he'll probably only fit through the square hole. I think he's having big fun on there. And the party's just big. Oh! Whoa! Party over. Pick the wrong moment. Really, the wrong. Wrong moment. It probably takes a long time for signals from that brain to reach the limbs. Despite that massive error, Massive Mike reaches the finish in three minutes, eight seconds. Not bad. Former Wipeout was given awards for the biggest splash. I would be number one, and I would be bringing home the money. Next to go, this is 23-year-old Oxford PhD psychology student Helen. Prepare for some intelligence. This should be new, round here. I'm quirky, sturdy Helen, and I'm going to use my brains, my brawn, and my booty to conquer this course. Brilliant! Off goes Helen. Not sure where the whole booty thing comes into it. Oh no! Freudian slip. Right, now Helen is very clever, so I'm sure she will pick the right door. She's going for number three. No, it's the wrong door. 
Very intelligent scream, I'm sure you can tell. It's a calibre above. Now, using cognitive analysis, can Helen cross the sucker punch? No, she just fell off. Air punch to the face, she was in the mouth. Helen's massive brain hasn't helped her yet. Maybe it will here? Yeah, oh yes, this is good. Okay. Balancing, making her move. On to three, this just feels so good. Oh, no, 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 hang tight, hang tight, hang tight. She's gonna do it, she's gonna do it. Come on, Helen. Brains against, well, big red balls. It's, she's four. Oh, oh. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Yes, she's done it. Helen joins that elite Oxford-educated PhD psychology ball crossers club. What a club that is. And Helen rounds off an excellent qualifier with a really rather good 2 minutes 38 seconds. This is Tony from Reading and he uses the weather to predict all your energy needs. Look, he's forecast that the sun's out. Yeah, oh, didn't predict that, did he? I put all the variables into my computer before I came out. 2 minutes 57. Uh, really? Answer, yeah, although it has been wrong before. So, <laughs> we'll see. I'm a forecaster and I predict there's no way that course can stop these crazy legs. So, Tony's forecast in 2 minutes 57. I forecast his forecast will be, well, wrong. Oh, he's hit a damn patch there. Now, will Tony predict which door to run through? He should be brilliant at this. Yeah, oh, it's number three. No, no, it's not. He predicted it wrong. Yeah, cold front set in. I forecast bruising and pain for the next two weeks. Yeah, I forecast more weather problems. I just can't help myself. Watch this. He can't afford to rein it in now. But what a bright spell he's enjoying. Come on, Tony. All hail Tony's impressive efforts on the sucker punch. <laughs> Dashing for the balls now. Off he goes. One, two, three. Oh, my word. Hang tight. Hang tight. Oh, come on, Tony. This... Oh, number four. Yes. Oh, no! Outlook, not so good. Hold on the shapeshifter now. Tony predicting when to jump. He should be good at this. No, bad prediction. <laughs> Tony reaches the end in 2 minutes 21, which is not even close yeah. to his prediction. I'll back my forecast, 2 minutes 57. Yeah, next he'll be saying there's no hurricane on the way. Oh. You see? I'm going to need another insurance form. I'm joined now at the top of the qualifier by the very eager student Freya from North Berwick. Freya, very eager, how are you doing? Definitely very eager, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> now Freya, um, students are well renowned for being experts in beer drinking pizza eating and uh, watching daytime tv yeah can i stop you there amanda freya is no ordinary student she's a lifeboat crew member and a nightclub bouncer you're not, you're not coming. so will she make it down the slope not in those shoes mate not a chance she's approaching the door i wonder if her name's on the list <laughs> oh, no. No, it wasn't. You're not coming in. You're not coming in. You're not coming in. Right, Freya approaching the sucker punch. All that bouncering will help her here, I'm sure. Yes, it is, you see. Dealing with it. No, didn't help. Didn't help at all. The shapeshifter now, and Freya is looking really quick. Come on, no! <laughs> No, lifeboat for Freya. So Freya's not coming in, has led herself into the leaderboard with 1 minute 57. Speaking of which, Freya takes the top spot with priceless Howie and all hail Tony close behind. The Oxford Psychology Ball Crosser Club chairwoman Helen is in fourth, while massive Mike and Sarah direct linger at the bottom. This is 27-year-old Jolene, a care home manager and fitness instructor from Margate. Jolene is really hard, likes boxing and has no time for girly stuff. And this is 18-year-old student Becky, who loves Barbie, beauty pageants and smiling. That's nice. Is that alright? That was perfect. Can you show me yours? 
That's brilliant. Hang on, let me have a go again. Is that good? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Newton born Margate bread. Total wipeout. You are dead. Scary. <laughs> ah, Becky now. Yes, I feel safe again. So who's faster, girly Becky or non-girly Jolene? Legs that stay on my so nose delicate and, and doll-like. And she runs like a penguin. These are a few so Becky doll heading for the doorstep. Oh no! Oh, that just seems wrong. I am not funny. She's still smiling, which is good. Non-girly tough lass Jolene to the doorstep now. Number three. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, she's hanging on though. Wow. This woman is tough. <laughs> Becky Doll to the sucker punch. Oh, please don't hurt her. No, oh, it hurt her. It did. Non girly Jolene takes on the big balls. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Not Jolene, Amanda's singing. Sorry. So Jolene, 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 Jolene reaches the end in a respectable three minutes and four seconds. Oh, oh what's this? Becky is also looking very quick. Oh, she's in the round one. Look. Hold on, Becky. Yes. You'll be all right, princess. She might make this. She might just do it. Yes. Yes. Oh, well, you see, it's a thing of grace and beauty. And in a fairy tale ending, Becky has beaten Jolene by 10 seconds. Girly wins. That was the most horrible thing I've ever done in my life. <sighs> this yellow 19 year old is Irish gymnast Connor from Derry. As a gymnast, he's tough, he's bendy, he's got great balance. And he screams like a girl. I'm just going to put some earplugs in. I can't hear him now. But he did avoid that hammer look. So will his gymnastics experience help on the big balls? Whoa! Right! That's... Is it him making that noise? It is. Right, what? Why? I was going to put some pillows over my earplugs now. Yeah, the mouth's open, but I can't hear the noise. That's good. Shapeshifter, please make it stop. I can't deal with the screaming. Oh, yeah. I can safely say there will be no more screaming. He's made it in the fastest time so far today. No, I'm just going to put some ear defenders over the pillows, over the earplugs. Richard, you're on. Richard? Just signal to me when I'm on. This is 27-year-old aerobics instructor and former can-can dancer, Vicky. If anyone can can-can, then Vicky can-can-can. <laughs> yes, I can-can! Oh, that's, that's nice. Yeah, irrelevant, but nice. Vicky teaches aqua aerobics, body combat and zumba. Whatever that is. Her legs are so long, half of those gloves are going to miss her. She can see over the top of the sucker punch wall. That's never happened. So far, so good. Oh, hang on, Vicky! This is good. Chatting to the wall, new tactic. Can I kick you? And it works. She's made it! Can I kick you? Now for the big balls. Can I kick you? One, Can two... Kick you? Ooh, weird fog move, and in. Yeah. Maybe that's what Zumba is. Maybe she's doing it now, I don't know. If anyone can make it through the shapeshifter, can, can, Vicky, can, 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 can. And the big finale. On the square. Coming round. Come on, Vicky. Here we go. Wow! She really can can. Can can Vicky can completes the course in two minutes, ten seconds. This is Anne Marie from Leicestershire, and she's a part time tribute singer. I wonder who it is. I hope it's Elvis. 
Yeah, it's going to be Elvis, isn't it? We don't need another hero on Total Wipeout. We oh, need a winner. Are you going to find it river too deep, mountain too high, Amory? I'm just here for a bit of fun. And if I can get through the qualifier, I'll be over the moon. Well, I hope you are simply the best out there today, Amory. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. I'm simply the best. Yeah. I'm Elvis didn't. Did he do that? I'm still not getting I'm it. Better than anyone. Anyone oh, was it the Claxons? I'm simply the best. She's away. River Deep Man, that was Elvis, wasn't it? Was that Elvis? Oh. <coughs> that was Elvis. Right, mystery tribute, and Marie weighs up the sucker punch. Here we go. Oh, no! Seriously, anyone give me a clue who she is a tribute act for? Never mind, let's get on with it. Here we go. One. Oh, no. Yeah, that was simply not the best. No, it wasn't. Anyway, shapeshifter. And Marie leaps, kind of, and doesn't get anywhere near the shapes. It just didn't work at all. Is it Cliff Richard? No, of course. Anne Marie finishes in 6 minutes 57, but the mystery identity of her tribute act will probably never be solved. Lionel Richard. This is LJ. He's 39 and from London. This is LJ's brother, Mark. He's 27 and also from London. It's sibling rivalry, wipeout style. Big bro versus little bro. You both know that unfortunately we can't have two total wipeout champions. There can be only one winner. So which brother is going to be the winning brother, LJ? I would like to be the winning brother, but I'm happy for him to take my place if I don't. Oh. I'm not going to say the same. I will be the winner. And uh, good luck, bro. Good luck. <laughs> right about now. Brother. I'm number one son and I'm not leaving till I get the job done! <laughs> Bro, you may think your mum's number one son, but I'm going to wipe the floor with you and Total Wipeout! Woo! Now you see, it's not about prize money or trophies, this is all about being mum's favourite. Big Bro LJ's at the doorstep challenge then. Here we go, number three. Oh, lightning reactions, his mum will be proud. Little bro Mark now at the sucker punch, skipping along nicely. Oh no, that won't make your mum happy at all. Getting your trainers all muddy. Look at that, she'll be furious. Right, LJ to the balls. Can he make his mum proud? Oh, no. Probably made her laugh though. Made me laugh. <laughs> There he is, Mum, doing his best. Big Bro LJ onto the final obstacle then. Oh, beautifully timed. Yeah, now he's having a little sit down in the square. Okay, here we go. Time to leap. Oh, no. Uh, now? Now? No. Oh, there. Looks like he's in there for another spin cycle. On your feet, man! So, over to Little Bro Mark. Easily onto the block. Oh, and then easily into the water with a sore nose. But little bro Mark clocks in with a leaderboard topping time of 1 minute 34. Back to LJ relaxing on the shapeshifter. Oh no! And sadly for LJ, with a time of 3 minutes 9, he has lost the battle of the bros. So... Mum and Dad, round one goes to him. He's the champion from round one. More to come. I told you, Mum and Dad, I'll do it for you guys. Well done, bro. <laughs> so, little bro Mark has rocketed to the top of the table, followed by Derry Derry Loud, Connor and Freya's not coming in. Priceless How is in fourth. The Oxford Psychology Ball Crosser Club chairwoman Helen is seventh. But with seven contestants still to go, Mike, Big Bro, LJ and Sarah Direct are looking slightly precarious. Now Blackpool is famous for its bright lights, ballroom dancing, donkeys and now Andy. What was that? Well, that is 28-year-old Debbie, a trainee beauty therapist from Manchester. And this is 26-year-old bingo hall manager Chris, also from Manchester. And finally, from Wigan, 31-year-old administrator Gillian. So, who will win this titanic clash of the North West? 
Where's North from here? Oops! Pleasure Beach Andy goes for a little ride. Making it look more like hard work than pleasure at the moment, he goes for door three. Yep. No, certainly not pleasurable. Right, here's Gillian now, doing it for Wigan. I'm sure Wigan is grateful. No! No, that's just... Well, how really she got battered. Nevertheless, she made it. Oh, now onto the sucker punch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> now for the balls. Here we go. Yes, oh, not again. I hope Gillian doesn't get hurt again. No! Oh! So, batter Gillian reaches the finish in 3 minutes 46. Why did everything hit me? <laughs> okay, eyes down. Here's Bingo Man Chris. Which door will he pick? Should be good at this. Oh, one little duck. Number two. <laughs> Mistake. Yeah, that was one big duck that hit him in the face. Right, here's Debbie and her massive knickers at the sucker punch. Which beauty treatment will she receive? Yeah, fake tap and a massive punch. Weird beauty treatment. Here's Chris at the balls. Here we go. One, two, uh, oh. Yeah, another duck. He's heading for a full house at this one. Here's Pleasure Beach Andy. Good time being had so far. No! <laughs> that was just ridiculous! Despite that lack of timing, Andy reaches the end of the pier in a rather good 2 minutes 31. But here's Chris. He might just be winning the Northwest off. Oh, yes! No! Oh. That was so close! Uh. But after that near miss, Full House Chris reaches the end in a very good 1 minute 58. Just Debbie to go, and she hasn't beaten Chris, but she is on the wheel. Oh okay, God. come on, Debbie. Hang tight, Debbie. Yes. The final moment of glory might be yours. Come on. Yes, she's made it. Chris might have won the Northwest off, but Debbie is the only Northwesterner to make the shapeshifter. Classy. Yeah. Over to Chris for some victorious words. One little duck quacking in the water. Oh, he's just talking bingo. Right, who's next? Now, this is William. He went to Eton. He's just graduated from Oxford. He, in fact, is posh. I wonder if he's got a servant to run the course for him. I don't want to be sort of stereotyped as uh, sort of posh eccentric. I want to prove that I can, uh, you know, mix it up with anyone and uh, show that, yeah, I think I can uh, take this course down. Oops, uh, I think I might have just stereotyped him. Sorry. I may be posh, but I'm no tough. Yes, that's that street that is going on there. All right, non tough William to the doorstep challenge. He swerved it, and he's looking quick. Just like a normal person, not posh, onto the sucker punch now. This is good, actually. He's flying, in fact. Yes. And he's made it. Straight to the balls. He carries on being this good. I'm just going to call him a tough again. Because... Yes. Oh, oh, my word. Oh, good Lord. What? He's made it! This guy is unstoppable! Come on, William! Oh, this is something else! Unbelievable! William has made it! Yeah! Wow! non toff William from Hampshire has crossed the big red balls and he's got the fastest qualifier time all series. Only celebrities have run it quicker and their course was easier so they don't count. He is the civilian record holder, and he is amazing. I love him, and I want to be him. William, when I grow up, I want to be you. Thank you very much. What are you feeling? Oh, hugely surprised. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that at all. You know, actually, now I've calmed down, I think I probably went a bit overboard when I was saying all that stuff about William being amazing, about loving him, and about wanting to be him. Because I'm a grown man. A grown man who's on the telly. I'm way too cool to hero worship anyone. And this tweed jacket and cap, yeah, I've had them for ages. I'm always just, you know, wearing them. So let's not make a big deal out of it, okay? It's my choice. 
just two runs left, and this is 31-year-old Beata. Originally from Poland, she's now a butcher in Norwich. I'm Beata the butcher, and I'm going to slice this up. OK, right, so the butcher of Norwich is charging towards the doorstep challenge. Straight out of the water, looking very much in control. Here we go. Number one. Oh, no! That'll have, uh, what is it, tenderised her? Yeah, it will have done. Out of the water, and now for the balls, or as butchers call them, sweet meat. Here we go. Oh, oh dear. A brief swim, and now Beata must face the giant salami slicer that is the shapeshifter. Here we go. Oh! Beata timed that all wrong, and, and then a bit more wrong. And so the butcher of Norwich sneaks into that all important 12th place with a time of 2 minutes 41, but there is still one contestant to go. Dan. I'm here now at the top of the qualifier with Dan from Windsor, who's an English literature student. Now, Dan, have you been making up any prose about this experience here today? I tried really hard, but nothing rhymes with wipeout. Schmipeout. You're better at this than me. Remember, kids, good grammar saves lives. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Yeah. <laughs> and off done go grammar man Dan. So sorry about that, love. We, we won't like that. Let's see if Grammar can save him from getting a big hammer in the face. I bet he's really fussy about apostrophes. <laughs> Aha! Clever Dan's using Grammar rays to repel the giant hammer. <laughs> uh, it can't work, though. No mud bath for Dan. I put a spell on you. The 20 year old student approaches the sucker punch. Grammar man Dan is on and edging along. Ooh, yes, well dodged. Yes. <laughs> Oh no! Punched right in the present tense. Yeah, that could have cost him vital seconds. <laughs> yeah, I said off. Nothing at all grammatically correct about that. Dan to the big red full stops. Here he goes. Oh! Oh! oh. oh I've got a word for that. No, I have. I have. Wet. Grammar man Dan to the shapeshifter now. Oh yeah. Oh, yes, I think would be the grammatically correct way to say that. Could he make the final 12? If he can do this quicker than 2 minutes 41, he will. Come on, Dan. Oh, oh, no! He's in and he's out. This is so close now. Come on, nearly. Oh, yes, Dan has done it by one second. Incredible. Time for an eloquent exit. Man of, a man of so many words. Go that way, darling. Bye. Final leaderboard time, and non-toff record breaker Williams sits at the top with Little Bro Mark and Derry Derry Loud Connor in second and third. Freya's not coming in is in fourth. Pleasure Beach and is in ninth, and late edition grammar man Dan sneaks in to complete the top 12. And so all good things must come to an end. You know, things like sherbet dips, they come to an end as to bank holidays, police academy films and dreams about talking ducks. They all end. But fortunately for today's losing eight contestants, all bad things must also come to an end. And their hellish ordeal is finally over. I say finally over. Let's be honest, it had barely started, really. So this is Double Cross. The contestants line up over there, and the aim is to cross to the other side without falling over or being flung off. It's a run to the centre along any of the green walkways, but they can only exit on the red one. If you're a red-green colour blind, you've got no chance of being one of the six qualifiers. Time to meet today's lucky double crossers. First in the qualifier and all-time record breaker, Non-Toff Will. This record break is going all the way. Then it's little bro Mark and Derry Derry Loud Connor. Then, fourth to qualify is Freya. 
Full House Chris and Howie. I'm hedging my bets. I'm doing it for the men and the girls. OK. Then there's Can Can Vicky. All Hail Tony. And Pleasure Beach Andy. This wonky donkey is heading for the finish line. <laughs> oh! Ah, uh, good, probably. Then there's Debbie and her massive knickers. Helen. And finally, Dan the Grammar Man. You've seen the best. Now watch me fall in. Beautifully punctuated. Double, double, toil and face plant. That Shakespeare really knew his stuff. So poetic. It's double cross. Are you all ready? Yeah! Three, two, one. So, as the game starts, there's only three ways to the middle, one way to the finish, and only six places in the next round. Who's going to be first? Oh, no, it's two of them. It, oh, Howie and Helene need to work on their cooperation and coordination there. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh, there's William. And Debbie, she's in as well. There's little bro Mark. Here we go. Ah, no, false start completely. Pleasure Beach Andy poised like a gazelle, dropping like a donkey. Chris, he's loving every moment. I don't know why. Oh! <laughs> I think the excitement got to him and he forgot to move his legs. Right, here's Tony. No! That looks simply horrific. Here's Mark. Oh, yes, Mark's made it to the middle. Good work. Come on, Big Brother is watching you. Yeah. He's just got to wait for that red arm to come around now. Oh, who's that? Ah, Chris has joined Mark. Andy there launching another failed attempt. And William now joining the party in the middle. Getting very busy in there. There's Freya. Some kind of party in the middle that I don't know about. Oh, Amanda feels all left out. Here comes the red arm. This is it. Oh, there goes Mark. Bad luck. Looks like his legs seized up. It is a long swim back to the start for Mark now. Is Chris going for it? Oh, no. <laughs> ah, ouch. Desperation there. Just Freya and Will left in the middle. Here comes that red arm. Go on, Will, now's your time. No! He hesitated. Good tactic to shorten his swim back there, that works. Just Freya now. Come on, Freya. Here we go. No, oh, no! Party in the middle is well and truly over. Here's Will, back in the middle. There's no stopping this guy. Oh, no, come on, somebody's got to make this soon. Right, there's Howie. Yes? No? Mark skips to the centre. That's it, Connor! Go, go, go! Oh, Connor! Oh, that didn't end well. <coughs> ah, no, it really didn't. Getting busy in the centre again. There's Will. Yes? No! <laughs> that was so close. It's going to be getting dark soon. i got stuff to do. Don't know about you. Uh, come on. There's barely room to move in the middle now. And Vicky's off. Really off. Yeah. The queuing system is causing serious problems. I haven't seen this happen before. Will, again. Oh, yes, yes, Chris has made it at last. He reserves his place in the next round. Now, what's this? The Northwest is storming ahead. Pleasure Beach Andy has made it. I wasn't expecting that. And he does look quite happy. Well, that could just be wind indigestion, maybe. No, he's happy. Okay, little bro, Mark. He's off. No, no! And um, here's. That's Freya. Oh, she makes it look effortless as well. Nobody does it, and then everyone does it. I just don't know when. Now, Dan, now. Here's Connor. Come on, Connor. Oh, no. Oh, that was a screamer. 
is William. He's made many unsuccessful attempts today, but he just keeps trying. Come on, William. Getting on with it. Oh, yes, it finally paid off. Nontoff William has made it through. Two to go. Here's Connor. Yes, he's through. Which means just one place remains in the next round. You're going to do it. Do it now. Will it be Helen, Dan, Tony, Mark, Vicky, Debbie or Harry? Oh, this is tense. And it's Harry. He's made it. And that, my friends, is what we call our final six. So Harry passes by to join Will, Freya, Connor, Chris and Mark in the next round. So with Double Cross done and dusted, it is unfortunately time to say goodbye to the losers. As a wise man once said, with Double Cross done and dusted, it is unfortunately time to say goodbye to the losers. Well, here's my interpretation of the wise man's words. Now the double cross is all done and dusted, it's very much time, and unfortunately so, to say goodbye to the losers. So wise. I tried. I got squashed, but hey, I got to the middle. So I twisted my ankle a bit and it knocked my confidence. Just didn't have it in me anymore to really go for it. I didn't make it, but at least I got further than my big bro, and that's the main thing. Uh, it wasn't to be. The other guys deserve it. So fair play. I basically headbutted the water. Yeah, I was showing the water who's boss. Let's go with that. That's my excuse. I'm so mad at myself. It was a can't can't today, not a can can. I'd love to see Andy and how we go all the way. I'd love to see Will win. Go on, tough. If I had to see someone who I'd really like to win, I'd go with Andy. Doing it, doing it for the oldies. The rules of Terrago Ram, discovered only through a prolonged and painful period of trial and error, would appear to be thus. All the contestants jog on the spot as the giant turntable turns beneath them. They have to dodge the beach paraphernalia tossed their way by the Terra Twins whilst hurdling the counter-rotating fickle fingers of fate. There are three heats and each time the last contestant standing goes through to the wipeout zone. I have a funny feeling something really bad's about to happen. But that's good news for all of us. It's Terra Go Round. Are you all ready? Yeah! yeah! Terrifying. Three, two, one. A quick reminder of today's Go Rounders. He's the series record holder and he's not a toff. I want to prove that I can mix it up with anyone. It's non toff William. He surprised everyone all day, not least himself. It's Pleasure Beach Andy. He's from Derry and he's very loud. It's Derry Derry Loud Connor. Then it's the fastest lifeboat crew bouncer ever. You're not coming in. Freya's not coming in. Flying high with his bingo wings. It's Full House Chris. And finally, he's a walking piece of art. You didn't glam a lot. It can only be Priceless Harry. OK, off goes Heat 1. The last person standing will reserve their place in today's wipeout zone. Ooh, here come the inflatables. Nothing funnier than a rubber dinghy in the face. <laughs> I agree. They're all getting a pelting. How are you opting for extra protection there? Good idea. That ring spells trouble, I know it. Yeah, Andy's the lucky recipient. And finally, there go the fingers. And there goes Connor. Hanging on for dear life, but that's futile. He is out. Oh, Freya's off. Oh, that's Andy. He's going for a ride. <laughs> Look at that, a thing of beauty. I see, little wave, and Andy's gone. Just Chris, William and Howie left off. Oh. oh no! Oh, they're all down! And Howie's gone! Chris and Will are up, but no, Chris is out. That means Nontoff William is the first contestant to reach today's wipeout zone. 
It's Heat 2 and Connor, Chris, Freya, Andy and Howie are left to battle it out for the last two places. Bring on those frightening inflatables. Howie holding onto his helmet for dear life. Oh no, Andy's been nailed by a flannel. Dangerous. Uh -oh. And the fingers are off. Ooh, Freya's down. Great recovery though. Oh no, she's down and out this time. Very out. Poor Freya, she's only got one more chance at this now. If she's to make the final. Oh, and that's Howie, down. And up again. Oh, and down again. And come on! Oh, in the face! That looked nasty. Just Andy, Connor and Chris left. They'll make it over. Oh no, that's Connor and Andy's down. So Full House Chris has bagged his spot in the wipeout zone. An unfortunate synchronised fall from Connor and Andy means that time is running out for them now. But a faultless performance from Chris brings him within touching distance of that £10,000 prize. OK, this is Heat 3 and it's all or nothing for Andy, Connor, Freya and Harry. Oh, it's those menacing flannels and terrifying inflatables. Nasty. Oh, Freya takes a ring to the noggin. Oh, Connor's been flannelled and he's screaming again. Right, this is now very serious. Ish. One of these four is going through to today's final. Andy and Harry stumble. Ooh, Andy and Connor down. Good recovery from Connor though. Oh no, that's Andy gone. But what's this? I've never seen anyone so happy to lose. One of these three is going through to the White House. Oh, Howie and Connor down, but they're up again. Oh, Howie is out. Oh, and so is Connor. Freya doesn't know she's won, but she does now. Poor Connor just fell at the last hurdle, but Freya's not coming in really is coming in to today's wipeout zone. What a performance. So a small pause to say goodbye to the three fallen heroes. Priceless Howie, he's been priceless all day. Derry Derry Loud Connor put in the loudest performance I've heard for some time. And Pleasure Beach Andy. Well, he's had a lovely day out. Ah, we've had some good times today, haven't we? Do you remember when Freya got through the terror go round? That was great, wasn't it? And what about the time Chris got through the terror go round? Ah, the memories. Happy days. But then it all changed. Back then, we used to laugh at people jogging on a silly roundabout. And now, now I have to do some work and actually present the show. I don't mean to sound old, but life's not as good as it used to be just a few minutes ago. It's not all bad news, though, because a video recorder is about to play you a reminder of who the finalists are. And I don't have to say a word. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. The emotions I'm feeling just cannot be described. I've never had such a mixed bag of emotions, stress, tense, excitement. I'm so excited to be in the final three. It is the best feeling ever. I just, I can't believe it. Still can't quite believe it, it's surreal. This will be one of the most memorable experiences I've ever had. All those bingo playing grannies, they might not have much energy in them legs, but when they see me doing the wipeout zone, They'll be doing star jumps in the living room. Chris is a bingo caller. I could totally wipe the floor with him. I wasn't sure he was going to be one of the major threats until uh, his performance on the double cross. I was amazed to see him fly over that. He's definitely competition. People always think it's a man's world, but in total wipeout it's not. It's going to be a woman's world tonight. Freya, she's extremely athletic. She's got that determination. She's got the drive, the focus, and the ability to back it up. It's a, a dangerous combination. I think I may be Total Wipeout's very own Just William. I'm a little bit cheeky, a little bit naughty, but I, I'm always a winner at the end of the day. Personally, I see him as a favourite. He's my main competition, but I'd like him to fall off something. 
tonight, I'm going to be Kelly's eye, number one. I'm going to be excited and I'm going to be relaxed. There won't be any nerves tonight. I'm going to smash the bingo manager in the top. They can, like, get wiped out. I'm here to win and I'm going to do it. It's getting dark. I love that. It's getting scary. I love that. It's the wipeout zone. I can't even begin to tell you how much I love that. And the first to brave it is Freya. I love her. Her name is down and she is coming in. I'm doing this for the 17 that didn't get to be here tonight. And she is off. Bounce of Freya setting the benchmark for the other two to beat. Heading for the rapid climb. She's one super confident chick. Yeah, she is that. Once up, a countdown begins 10 seconds. If Freya's too slow, she'll get washed away by a giant tidal wave. She's got to get a move on. She's up and it's begun. Not a fast start, but she is picking up speed. moves from Freya. Onto the seesaw of truth now. Very confident. Great balance though, not even a wobble as she tips. Oh! <laughs> oh. Okay, she's fine. That was very close. Needs to get a timing right on the crazy sweeper. Come on, Freya! Give me a moment. Come on. She's going for it. I think she's going to try and do it in one. Which is a risk. No, it's a duck. And she's up again. Hurry, that sweeper's coming. And she's across. This is fast. Oh no, too fast! She didn't judge that very well. That could be the slip up that cost her the title. Come on, Freya! If she gets her energy back, this could still be a strong time. But she's struggling. Come on. Using up every last ounce of strength. Final leap! And Freya completes the wipeout zone in two minutes exactly. A very good time. But will it be good enough today? It all started so promisingly until Freya fell at almost the final hurdle. But will it cost her the prize? Freya, that was fantastic. How are you feeling? Pretty tired. <laughs> I know that you're confident that you'd be lifting the trophy here Hopefully. tonight. You're doing it for the girls, and you've done the girls proud with an even two minutes. That's all right. That's really good. That is enough. I know. And Chris is up next, and he's pretty fast, but yours is the time to beat. Let's watch. Hopefully. The bingo operations manager takes his position. Let's do this. Come on. Eyes down. So, two minutes flat is the time to beat. Although Chris doesn't know that, of course. He's just going to do his best. Yeah, I should probably keep that mouth closed. There's a lot of water heading in its direction. I'll be honest, I have seen quicker starts. Oh, little slip! Oh, you see? No, no, it's not. Come on, Chris. He's up and the countdown starts. And this is more like it. So the battle is well and truly on now. Onto the seesaw. Not a bad time so far. It's going to be close if he keeps up this pace and doesn't make any mistakes. He is, but it's working for him. He's got to the crazy sweeper already. Wait, picks his moment, he's off. Come on, come on. Ooh. Ducks, but up again quickly. Oh, why is he waiting? Don't, what, what? Ooh. He's up very quickly once again. And he's across. Now the turntables. Good start. Come on, Chris. Make that leap. Here we go. Yes. Oh! Whoa! 
no, not again! <laughs> Chris fell in exactly the same place as Freya. He must be running low on energy now. Here we go, one final leap. And the clock stops on 2 minutes 11. It's good, but it's not good enough to beat Freya. A steady, measured performance from Chris until that costly fall ended his chances of lifting the trophy. Chris! Oh, my goodness! You know what? At home right now, all the grannies from the Brink Bingo Hall will be leaping out of their couches with excitement. Chris, they're going to have to sit back down in their seats again because Freya was faster than you. I'm sorry, my man. Freya, go join the others, Chris. But Freya... One down, one to go. <laughs> Yours is still the time to beat Williams up next. He's pretty fast. Let's watch. Fingers crossed. Nontoff William takes his starting position. Time to break some records, baby. Yeah, don't call me baby. It's awkward. So, can William break any records on this wipeout zone? Two minutes is the target. Again, this isn't the fastest of starts. And he looks to be struggling here, too. Oh. But he's up now and the countdown has begun. Dashing up the rapid climb. Good work made that look easy, but will he be so confident on the seesaw? Well, I think the answer is yes. Makes the tip, no problem. OK, he's doing well. Apparently so. Crazy sweeper now. Ball drops to his knees. And he's up. Still going. Yep, staying ahead of the sweeper. This is good. And he's made it. William could be heading for a resounding victory here. Two more jumps. Here we go. Oh, not again. No. That's all three in the same place. This is still a good time, though. If he can make the last jump, he'll surely be taking the trophy. But the energy reserves are at rock bottom. Come on, William. Find some strength from somewhere. Oh my God. This has got to hurt. He's up. One jump. And that's it. William finishes in one minute 46. We have a winner. A really fast run from William, even though, like the others, he fell on the second turntable. An amazing performance. Over to Amanda to break the news. William, my man, come on out and join me. You were pretty fantastic out there tonight, William. Freya was absolutely brilliant too. I've got to tell you, you're not just William. You are William, the total wipeout champion! So William Parry walks away with £10,000 and a total wipeout trophy and will be returning with Freya and Chris to break more records in the final. Sorry, I forgot I needed to do the end bit. It's just I really need to go to the shops before they close. So uh, from Amanda and me, goodbye! Hi, I'd like to buy a tin of luncheon meat and some cheese strings. What do you mean you're closed?